We have one of our, our the best creations that has ever come out of State of the University. <laughs> we love her and, and had a lot of fun with her. Darcy, Darcy Novick. Come on, give her a hand, Darcy! Darcy Novick! So, I'm turning 50 this year. And my Aunt Marilyn said, so old? <laughs> then I got diagnosed with breast cancer. And she said, so young? <laughs> really, I'm celebrating 40 years cancer-free. Thank you. You know, when you get cancer, people feel sorry for you. And sometimes they want to give you free stuff. So when I went to Mohegan Sun, I got a free room upgrade, I got free drinks at the bar, and I'm a little embarrassed to say I used my cancer to get a meet and greet with David Cassidy. <laughs> you know, I didn't feel like going to the casino, so I went to the gym. Would you believe on the treadmills they now have poker machines? I was there two hours. I burned $653. <laughs> I also had a cancer insurance policy where they pay you for everything cancer related. So as soon as I got diagnosed, I got a check in the mail for $2,000 saying, you have breast cancer. Congratulations. <laughs> then for, it said for every chemo and radiation that I needed, I would get $255. So when I went to the doctor, they said I needed eight rounds of chemo and 33 rounds of radiation. And I said, oh my God, do you have a calculator? I'm going to Disney. Now, I really used all the insurance money and I started a foundation called Bosom Buddies. And we sell t-shirts and raise money for the American Cancer Society, and to date we raised $125,000. Now, I had no clue when I created this logo that my number one customer for this t-shirt design would be seventh grade boys. Are there any survivors in the audience? Anyone have a seventh grade boy? There you go. Enjoy. Spread the awareness. I also arrange bringing mammogram vans to poor neighborhoods where they actually do the breast exam right there in the van. So I put it in on Craigslist looking for volunteers and perhaps I worded it wrong because you're never going to believe who showed up. The entire Hofstra football team. And Bill Cosby. I live in an apartment building in Bayside. Well, it's more like an old age home for Jewish people. Everyone there thinks they're my mother. I'll give you an example. Mrs. Blaustein invited me to her home for the Jewish holiday. And as soon as I got in the door, she's like, let me get you something to eat. I have cheesecake. I have rugula. I have noodle pudding. And then she kind of gave me that once over, up and down look and said, let me fix you a little grilled chicken. <laughs> So, a little later in the evening, I was just about to bite into the cheesecake, and out of the corner of my eye, I see Mrs. Blasting lunging at me, like I was holding a hand grenade. <laughs> she rips it from my hand and says, you'll thank me tomorrow. I don't go to Mrs. Blasting's anymore. <laughs> but I did take the hint, and I joined a gym, and I treadmill next to this really hot guy. And the other day he said, listen, I have two tickets to Billy Joel on Saturday. Are you free? So I was like trying to play it cool. I'm like, yeah, you know, I just have to check my schedule. He's like, great, because if you are, I was hoping you could dog sit. <laughs> I know. It gets worse. Then we started talking about music, and he said he liked Bruno Mars and Jay-Z, and he asked if I did, and I was like, uh, yeah, me too. But just as I was saying it, my headset cord popped out of my iPod, and all you can hear blasting is David Cassidy. I think I love you. The 
it doesn't get much better. This morning he said, the Boy Scouts of America want to honor me at a black tie event next month. Would you go? I'm like, oh my God, would I, what would I wear? He's like, where? What? No. I meant would you go if you were me? <laughs> I don't go to that gym anymore. <laughs> And I don't mind being 49 and single. As a matter of fact, someone begged me to get married last night. Oh, that was my mom. <laughs> she actually read my diary and got so bored she spell-checked it. <laughs> my mom's really smart. I must take after my dad, because I studied so hard in school, and I miss being valedictorian by, like, this much. And I was homeschooled. <laughs> I don't even want to talk about the prom because my date is somewhere here in the audience. Oh, hi, Daddy. I hate that my parents are getting old. They can barely hear. They can hardly see. And the thing I hate most is they have a reverse mortgage. Now, my dad's pretty bad with technology, but I got him a GPS, and he called me this morning so upset. He said, I'm looking for Walgreens, and this thing just keeps saying, recalculating, recalculating, recalculating. I'm like, Dad, what address did you put in for Walgreens? He said, the corner of happy and healthy. <laughs> Speaking of healthy, I decided to join Weight Watchers. Where every food has a point value, and when your points are done, you're done for the day. Last night, my sister caught me on eBay looking to buy other people's points. <laughs> I wanted to get my mind about food, so I signed up for a tennis lesson. And as soon as I got out on the court, the first thing the pro said is, I'm going to feed you three balls. Oh, my God. oh good, I'm starving. <laughs> Then she said, all you need to do is serve the ball, get it in the box. Serve the ball, get it in the box. Piece of cake. I'm like, did someone say cake? <laughs> I love Facebook, but I think it could be a bit limiting. For example, last week my friend posted that her dog passed away and 18 people clicked like. <laughs> and I'm thinking, you'd like that her dog died? Wouldn't it be great if we had a few more button options? Like, that really sucks. <laughs> or, way to go. Or how about the one we're all thinking? I don't really give a shit. <laughs> you guys have been so much fun. My name's Darcy. Enjoy the rest of your night. Come on, you were ahead. Darcy Novick. Darcy Novick. Oh, it doesn't get better than that. He's hysterical. Let me, where, 